Men get cheated on all the time. They just don't go broadcasting. Oh, man, I came home, quarter laid up with another dude. No, dudes is not going to do that. Dudes is going to cry in their oatmeal. She's on this. She talking about she don't want nobody to touch her. Man, you got me up. You mean when you can leave? First of all, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm man. First, she told me she don't even fly spirit, right? Then, tell me she don't fly spirit. No. Like, like, she, like, okay, so I get her mom. And don't record me. Sorry, didn't know. I done flew her all the way out of LA. She <laughs> We've been FaceTiming, come on, we've been FaceTiming every day. Face I don't get it. Are you all really taking me all the way back? <laughs> you really taking I've me back to the airport? All right, so guys, that's the preamble. That's the preamble of this video. And I'm gonna, I mean, there's a lot of ways to unpack this, right? Now, both people are getting drugged on social medias for multiple reasons, right? A lot of people are saying the man's crash proposing this young lady. And a lot of people are saying she's stupid. Like, what was her thought process? And again, this is part of the culture. A lot of people are getting lost in the hype of this. Oh, a man got money. They say it ain't tricking if you got it, right? So feel like, oh, well, if I got the money to spend, on flying this woman out to me so I could do whatever I want with her, that's fine. And a lot of the women are saying, hey, if the man got the money, I'm gonna go out there. But you gotta know what you're getting yourself into. A lot of times these women are in other people's ways. And I know that might sound crass, but this is reality. I'm talking reality. I ain't talking fiction right here. I'm talking real reality. So when you see these situations of these women get thrown in and now they're saying, well, I, I, didn't, I don't wanna do anything. Somebody else was willing to get flown in and do the thing. So let's again be real about that. So what I'm saying is leading up to the purchase of the plane ticket, the the, the ride from the airport, at what point of time was it gonna be asked and answered? Hey, this is my expectations. Are you willing to meet them? It's just like taking a job. It, you, you find out how much they paying you before you show up to your first day at work. Anybody who shows up to their first day at work without finding out what the pay is, is a fool. And anybody showing up to their first day at work without finding out what the job description is, is also a fool. And any employer who doesn't discuss that preemptively with the prospective employee is also a fool. It leads for everybody to be disappointed, upset, feel some kind of way, lost in the ditch or whatever. I mean, if you, if you think realistically, right? If you were on the other side of town and it was 2 a.m. and you're texting with somebody, and we've all been there for the most part, you're texting somebody and you're deciding on if you're gonna go there or if he's gonna come to you or vice versa. It's some type of conversation being had about the reason that somebody is gonna show up to your place at one, two or three o'clock in the morning. Nobody just says, hey, hey what you doing? What you up to? Uh, it's two in the morning. Hey, yeah, come on over. Usually it's something implied there, nine times out of 10. So if you made it all the way on a plane, all the way to another state, and you want to get me to believe that it was no type of conversations had it so facto before, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that in the least bit. Now, again, some of it could be naivety. Like the guy said in the video multiple times, you knew it was up. Does that mean that it was asked and answered? Does that mean it was spoken on? Or does that mean it was implied? Because for that guy to decide he wanted to buy that plane ticket for that woman. He had to see something in her, connect with her in some way, shape, or form. Nine times out of ten, is on Instagram because he kept talking about his foes and her Instagram. So nine times out of ten, this is the Instagram, you know, probably popular girl, Instagram model, or whatever. When something bad happens to a man, a man is less likely to like report it or scream it out to the world. The, the average guy's not doing that. They say men cheat more than women. No, women scream to the high heavens about being cheated on more than men. Men get cheated on all the time. They just don't go broadcasting oh man i came home quarter laid up with another dude no dudes is not gonna do that dudes is gonna cry in their oatmeal I hate to say it that's what really happens but it happens all the time so this whole flipping ain't going bad thing probably happens a lot because these women you know they got game and they think they they got a lot of game and they think they're getting over on people and a lot of times they do they come in town they holler they go to clubs in atlanta they do all that they pop bottles and all that and half the time they right they probably not sleeping with these guys and in their mind, they get in a culture so twisted, they think they could just come out, ball out of control, you know, get flew, flew in, brag about it on Instagram, oh, this guy flew me in, blah, 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 they're going to do all of that. And, and they, they play their game. But the one young lady played it bad because she didn't bring any money with her. And now they're saying they're exposing these women because, again, in my mind, these women are predatory in nature in some way, shape, or form. And, and let's not act like they're not predatory women out there we see guys get murdered all the time 
because they were linking up with somebody on Snapchat who actually set them up to be robbed and, and killed. That happens all the time. And guys need to be aware of stuff like that. So these guys giving these women, you, you're, 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 you're lame and, and slow yourself. You're giving these women access to your apartment, your house, your condos, whatever. You know, letting them into your home, knowing where you live at. You're going to fly some random chick into town, right? Who don't care no atoms about you. You gonna tell her where you live at? Already let her know that you you got money because you're gonna be you, you, just the fact of the matter of flying her in. You're trying to show off that you got these type of funds, and these type of assets. You flying her in, gonna let her know where you live at. Let her know what your place look like. Let her know what you got in your place for her to just call somebody quick and be like, oh yeah, you know, soon as I fly out, you come rob this dude, come break in this dude's house. This is the other side of the the fluid in culture that people don't see. A lot of people out here with money shouldn't have money. Some of these people is, is lame and not hip to the game or reality. And a lot of times these women are slicker than the men. But then in some instances like this one, it just goes awry. It just it just goes a little bit to the wayside where God, I hate to say, like kind of stands up for himself and says, hey, listen, you, you knew what it was. You knew why I flew you out here. I didn't fly you out here to take you to, 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 to Capital Group. I didn't fly you out here just to take you to the club so, so I could show you off. And yes. Part of that was supposed to be part of that, but that's not why you're here. And 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 what the guys are saying, they're just mad. Like, hey, listen, I you know, I get it. it. Would never be me, but I get I get the angst. I get why they're upset. They feel played. These women are in a sense playing them, and then resting on the laurels of, hey, this is you know my body, my choice, which they of course have the right to do. Them is six seven hundred wise men, right? Okay. So plus her bags, check in, all that shit. We go get her the Uber, all that shit. Then I'm getting here at two G's already. So we get here first night. I'm being, a, I'm being a whole gentleman. I'm being a whole gentleman. Have you not? Have I not been a gentleman to you though? Know? Have I not done anything? But you should have knew what it was about to pull you out. Said it countless, countless, countless times. Like the young lady did say in the video, "Hey, you offered your money." I tell my friends all the time, my female friends, listen. If if a dude, you know, offer you his pocket, go in it. I'm not knocking no woman for taking what a man is willing to get. I'm not calling no woman a gold digger. If a man is giving you a shuffle, a shuffle. If somebody's giving you a shuffle, you ain't you ain't gold digger. That's 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 in my opinion. If a man say I want to take you shopping, go. I'm not knocking that. But going shopping and getting flown across the country, I think it's a level of expectation that goes with that. First, I don't condemn food out culture. So first, my my first disclaimer. I I think it's a bad idea for just many reasons. I'm not going to get into morals and all that stuff but i will say um i will get into safety it you kind of touched on it you know a girl could be setting up a gentleman to be getting to get robbed um human trafficking is a real thing so i don't see why people or women you know just want to be so cavalier and leisure about their livelihood and their lives i get it sounds fun but a lot of women have horror stories from someone messaging them saying let me fly you to dubai let me fly you to this country let me fly you here a lot of those women then end up in a situation where they are being like human trafficked they are taken advantage of um these gentlemen in the video that you're showing they're very upset but fortunately for these women these women weren't great because yeah I didn't think these about that. women were you know in a closed place with these gentlemen there's tempers that are blaring as you mentioned who knows what conversations were said prior and so these women put themselves in very dangerous situations and so that's my first thought is it's a bad idea and a lot of people think like hey you deserve you need to pay just to be in the company of me and some people demand and here's the thing people do pay just to be in the presence of people um so they're not that far-fetched when they go to a situation to make you think that they may literally a lot of this just may be ego like hey like I'm that Instagram model. Look at all my followers. Look at all my hot pictures. You know, we get to take a couple pictures together. We get to do a couple, couple photo ops. You get to say that you gave me a really close hug, and that's most than any of these other people have done. So, you know, yeah. your, your experience that was your experience, yeah. right? Yeah. What is the Chris Brown experience? What, what did you spend a thousand dollars? What is it for? You got um, a hug on his knee. Yes, a thirty-second photo op, right? Yeah, so yeah. People will, you know, they set their value at whatever they want. And a lot of these women feel that their value has been set by their likes and followers. And they're thinking like, you know that. Mm -hmm. um, but as a man, you're thinking like, what? No, this is just Instagram. Those are just like the followers. I'm spending my real hard earned money on you. And I expect you to at least show interest in me. Like, could you at least pretend to like me?